Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. So today we're here with something a little bit different. So let's get right into it. It is too much TNT if you didn't know by the name. So I'm probably going to start off with the ores. So this is just sulfur ore, nuclear waste and uranium. And I'll go through all this. So game mode... Zero. I'll just go game mode zero for this. Oh gosh. I should definitely turn it to peaceful. Okay, so first we have sulfur ore. As you know, that probably just it gives you gunpowder. Next we have uh, the toxic waste. Which, if you destroy it, it just disappears, obviously. Then we have the meteorite, and that just gives you gunpowder, and here is uranium ore. So, oh, huh, so I'll give myself a bunch of uranium ore, let's just give us 64 of that, game mode 1. What happened is I would, uh, it would do this. So I don't know it, if it's like a 50-50 chance or something. Okay, now, now it's not doing anything. Deft, oh. Why? I was in game mode 1. I was in creative. Okay. So, yeah, it would do that. That's what happened last time I did it. Oh gosh. And now I'm being poisoned by the goo, which is the uranium waste, I think. Yeah. But this is basically the too many, too much TNT mod. Yeah, the too much TNT mod. And you'll know why I have bedrock in a minute. So I've got three more chests that I want to show you. So first I've got dynamite. Obviously, it's dynamite, so this is in no particular order. So I'll just showcase everything in this mod. Uh, well, I'll showcase as much as I can. So, first we have dynamite. Boom, it just explodes on impact. Obviously. And it seems to get rid of... Zero blocks? Or two blocks. It has, like... Okay, it gets rid of about the same as TNT. So dynamite times 5, I guess it gets rid of... No. I guess this, get rid... it, this gets rid of like... Less than TNT, and then this is dynamite times 5. Dynamite times 100. Uh, this is snow dynamite. Timer dynamite. I should probably order these. Hang on. I'll see if I can order them. Oh, there's there's the timer dynamite. Okay, so I've probably gone through all the uh, times. So now this is the freeze dynamite. So that obviously just turns stuff to ice. It also blows you back a bit, it seems. Oh, yeah, TNT does that too. So this just freezes everything. It doesn't actually make an explosion. It just freezes everything. Lightning dynamite. I'll just... Okay, then. It spawns lightning. Arrow dynamite. Oh, cool. Oh. I was about to say, did they have, like, different textures for the arrows? Like, different arrows? No, they don't have different arrows that they fire. That's just the texture for this arrow. See, combat... Arrow, don't know why it doesn't look different there. If I throw it on the ground. Okay then. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, where did I put it? Freeze dynamite. Okay, so that was the arrow dynamite. So the cubic dynamite obviously blows out a cube. It would probably work better on grass. No. I guess it just blows out a one, 
a 1 by 3 by 3 hole. Fire dynamite spawns by ocean dynamite. Oh gosh. I've got a good PC and this is lagging my PC. Oh gosh. That obviously spawns an ocean. I probably got a good PC for this because it's very laggy mod sometimes. Uh, what was that? Oh, eruption dynamite. And boom. Spiral dynamite. Oh, gosh. Lots of them. Holy camoly. We've already blown up everything in this vicinity. Chemical dynamite. Ah, this is the dynamite that, like, uh, if you shoot it there, it just tunnels its way down to bedrock or something. Yeah, all the way down to bedrock. So we need to tunnel our way out again. Oh, gosh. It is lagging so much. Okay, so those were that dynamite. Okay, so now we have all of these. That's a lot of TNT. And some of it is the same, but a bit different. So I'll grab out all of this. Okay, guys, so I'm sorted out the TNT into what I want. And basically, you already know, you probably already know what normal TNT looks like. By the way, I just had lunch. So, I'm going to start off by with the TNT times 5. These are like the main ones. Yeah, so that's 5 times TNT. 20 times TNT. I'm going to go over here, otherwise I'll completely destroy the chest. Like, look, I've got pieces of meteor. Oh gosh, that's big. I've got pieces of meteor already in the chest encasement. TNT times a hundred. And explode. There we go. And that just completely destroyed everything. And then TNT f times five hundred. 500 pieces of TNT. Let's kill this let's kill this flock of rabbits. Would you call it a flock? I don't know. I am going to show you some of the same but for the some of the same ones that were with the dynamite just to show you the difference. So you know the grove TNT you can see well you can partially see the size of the groves. Oh gosh. Where is it? Oh gosh, it's lagging my computer. There we go. TNT times 500. That is very powerful. It's like stripped away at the mountain. It's so powerful that it's gone through the dirt and stripped the stone behind it. Yeah, but you see the size of those groves? Well... I think the TNT is bigger than the dynamite. Usually people start with the TNT and then go to the dynamite. Yeah, so that's a lot bigger. Next is inverted TNT. And so that... Oh, it is. it's even upside down. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. It basically inverts everything, so it like blows out a bunch of stuff. And that was powerful. Is it the dynamite that makes the dome? Huh. But this is like the opposite. So stone going that way, dirt going that way, but not as much. So next we have the sphere TNT, and is this what it... Is this the one that either cuts it out or places it? Okay, so that cuts it out. That's a lot bigger, as you can see. So now, this is the drilling TNT. And I don't know what 
Still with them particles, but anyway. This basically drills down to bedrock. As you can see, we're pretty close to bedrock. I don't know why we were so close. Oh, we hit a ravine. Cool, let's blow the ravine up. Easter egg is... I don't know if it works underground too well. I'll show you it above ground too. See? Oh gosh. Yeah, it doesn't work as well. So you got a sneak peek of what it kind of looks like. Now I'll try it above ground, because it will work better. So Easter egg TNT. How, how ironic, there's bunnies next to it. Boom. It basically spits out a bunch of Easter egg TNTs, and it sets off an initial explosion, which places melons and pumpkins. So now... Why are the melons not textured, but the pumpkins are? Some This texture pack is really weird. Flat TNT kinds of works if you go a bit more down. You basically light it, and as the name says, it flattens stuff. Next we have a brick house TNT. I should do the wooden house before it, but who cares. So it makes a brick house. And not a very good looking brick house either. Um, it has enough, it has a chest, a furnace, and a crafting table. And a nice door. I don't think, does it have, oh yeah, it also has a bed and a carpet. The wooden house is, you'll see the wooden house in a minute. Let's see if what happens when we spawn it here. Boom. The wooden house spawns a wooden, with a wooden floor. It's made of birch, I presume, or it might be oak. I can't tell. So that just has a bed, a furnace, and a crafting table. Did I have the other house? And then the house TNT. So the house TNT is just a stone? I don't know. It might go... Yeah, it's stone. So this is cobblestone. It just has a crafting table. If I can get inside, it doesn't have a bed. And it doesn't have a nice wooden floor or a carpet floor. Uh, next we have... Do we do the meteor TNT? No. So next we have the meteor TNT. If it'll come. Oh, there we go. I missed it. God damn it. I'll try and do it again. Oh, okay then. I just got shot here. I'll do it here. Huh. It doesn't seem to have a tech. It doesn't seem to have a texture or something. That might be a broken. Go holy camoly! It's just shooting me off. This is a meteor shower. This is probably going to lag my PC really badly. I don't know why it's not showing meteors. Oh gosh. As you can see, oh gosh, it is showing them now. It's just a meteor shower. They're not as big, so I thought it would be as big. Uh, I'll save the nuclear TNT. You'll see what that is. Custom TNT. Moving on to uh, freeze TNT. I think we had a look at the freeze, but this is probably just going to be way bigger. So I'll show you it's on some trees. Yeah, I'll show you on some trees. Because it looks cool on trees. I have watched a mod showcase of this, so I know what some do. Yeah, but it basically just turns. All the water and everything has been turned to ice. Uh, next is sand fireworks, and this is cool. Watch. Boom! Tons, and what? Why did it explode? Exploding sand? I don't know. I didn't think it exploded. Holy camoly! All I can see is pixelated explosions. Whoa! 
That is a lot of sand. And it spreads it so far. Look, there's just unimaginable amounts of just wreckage everywhere. Next is Reaction TNT. So this does... Uh, oh gosh. Oh, it might just be a bigger version of the ca chemical TNT. I don't know. I don't exactly know what that was. Next we have the chemical TNT. So if we just place that down. I did switch, just switch it out. It probably looked very convincing. Oh my gosh. I think that just spawns lots and lots of reaction TNT. Erupting TNT. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It erupts TNT. Floating island. Now this is one that I like. Let's find a patch that isn't destroyed. See if we can find a patch. Oh, I think I can see some trees over there. Oh no, there's just some trees here. Basically what you want to go do is you want to go over to some trees. Because trees on floating islands is cool. And then you want to place said, TN said floating island TNT. Yep, floating island TNT. And it, when it blows up, it just copies and pastes that in a floating island. And there you go, floating island. I don't know what the heck has happened to it. It's all gone weird. Was there meant to be a massive hole in it? I think it carves away at some points. Okay then, I don't know exactly what that is meant to be. That big hole under there. Uh, next we have digging TNT. I think it's similar to the... We should have done. Yep. It just... Oh, it just spawns instead of a 3x3 three three one. It spawns a 1x1. One one. Animal TNT. Oh, this would be cool with the gravity TNT. Oh no, I got rid of it. God damn it. Um, animal TNT spawns lots and lots of mobs. As you can see, it spawns like two of everything? Something like that. Uh -huh. The wolves instantly go for the sheep. Now, mining flat TNT. This is similar to the flat TNT, only when it explodes, it does this. Boom! And it instantly flattens it. Only it does a lot bigger of an area and it places torches. Look at this mushroom. It's got like the texture for mushrooms, only they haven't retextured the cow the mush the actual mushroom itself but now on to the nuclear tnt and the custom tnt i'll just put them up there so the custom tnt i'm not quite sure what that's meant to do it's got no texture oh gosh does it just spawn a random tnt huh Okay then. Okay, if I put... No. I'm not quite sure what the custom TNT is meant to do. But moving on to the nuclear TNT. Now, let me find a place that isn't completely and utterly ruined. Oh, look at the moon. By TNT. Okay guys, so I found a suitable place that I think might be far enough away. I don't know, I might be surprised. That may not be far enough away. 
But you're about to see the most unholy amount of destruction. Boom. It didn't appear to do anything. But wait. Oh my gosh. Oh. It didn't actually do much. I thought that was the one that made the huge crater. Okay then. Now, we move on to the God TNT. And it says God, so I assume that these are going to be very big explosions. Let's see what we'd... Heaven's Gate. I'd like to keep that. Hell's Gate. And Pompeii. They sound like really big ones. Mankind's Mark. That sounds like it's going to make something. Okay, so... We've... Right, the other one just exploded, I think. But what we're going to do is we're going to go... And unleash Pompeii on the world. I assume this is going to be very, very big. Let's just unleash it here. Or is it just going to unleash like a volcano or something? I don't know what it's going to do. Because when I saw the mod review, this was not in it. Holy camoly! That's like eruption TNT. And it spawns lots of lava. That's lava TNT that it spat out. Oh my gosh. Look at all the craters underwater. Okay then. So let's look at Hell's Gate. What does Hell's Gate do? Okay, then why did it turn it day? What? It's turning at night then. Day. Okay then. Okay then. So it is Hell's Gate. It's just lava surrounded with whatever else. Oh my gosh. You would have to work to get to this. And there's glowstone under it. You don't even need to go to the nether anymore. You've just got free glowstone. Is that soul, stand? soul sand? Hang on, I'll place normal blocks. Yeah, that's soul sand. Okay, now let's spawn... Heaven's Gate and see what that does. I guess it just spawns like tons of water. Like the same thing but tons of water. Or maybe it does something different. I don't know. Spawn it underwater. Okay, it exploded. I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, I nearly ran. I nearly ran right into. Ah, yeah. So it's basically the same thing. Ah. Only what the heck? Why is there only land there? Did it just copy and paste? Hang on. Let me see. Let me go to the middle of this island. And then place one there and go. Yeah, that just copy and pastes. So I guess it's like a bigger version of the island TNT. Oh my gosh. What the... And it explodes... It explodes everything and copies and pastes. Yeah, so it just copies and pastes. Because that's the same island formation again. Yes, yeah, so that's a bigger version of the island TNT. So, I hope you enjoyed that mod showcase. If you did, please leave a like. And I will see you in the next video.